So this idea about thinning things through, most of us practice five or six things at once and judge ourselves on all of them. That's not fair to yourself. And you're not going to get better quickly that way. Just like trying to work out you know, eight or 10 or 12 different muscles at the same time. At the end of the day, it may, it may have been more efficient to focus on each of those. And you'll get further. So anyway, so that's what that bottom sentence is about. And maybe that helps with the relaxation. Relaxation implies things moving slowly and some level of sort of introversion of thinking, like a feedback loop. I'm going to move part of my body now. How did that feel? Oh, that was okay. Okay. So you, you make a motion and you think about it. You let it sit there. So any of us that have ever done any, you know, whatever, yoga, Pilates, any of that stuff, that's, that's just kind of how we think about relaxation and motion and physicality. So that's what I'd suggest. You just really practice that on its own. <coughs> All right. So uh, going back to that second heading, time. Um, for any, I mean, we can say <coughs> any kind of music, but certainly any kind of pop music, which jazz falls into that category, is groove-based. Jazz is dance music. Straight up. And you know, there's plenty of Miles Davis tunes you can't dance to, but historically, jazz was dance music. R&B is dance music. Hip hop is dance music. Rock and roll is dance music. Country is dance music. So it has to have an element of dance, which is repetition and groove and time. So I'm pretty big on most of the things we practice being in time. So when you play your scales, unless, of course, again, this separating the what and the how, unless you're you know, really working on a specific aspect. For those of us that are at an inter intermediate or more advanced kind of level, you know your major scales, you've known them for years, they got to be in time. You need to play your major scales like you're playing with Frank Russo upstairs. One, two, ding, 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 ding. You're on stage at the Kennedy Center with Jeff Watts playing drums, playing your major scales. Groove and intensity and all that. So, again, we're piling on a couple things. I'm sort of contradicting what I just said. But when we get to that level, everything is in time. Everything is grooving. And the groove in jazz is two and four. So I wrote down metronome on two and four. Um, I teach at Towson University. I've got a real good freshman kid this year who was actually at the camp last summer. And uh, he can play. I mean, he can really play, and he can't play anything with a metronome on two and four. So does anybody remember that time? I certainly yeah. do. When I first got to college, yeah, when I took it, a lesson, impossible. You said two and four. It, right, it yeah. took me about an hour to be able to, to do it. Yeah. yeah, it took this kid the same. Rather than one and three, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and this kid practices three or four hours a day. So it was just that perceptual thing. Are you guys familiar with, I think they're called Necker Cubes? It's a psychology thing. It's, it's a three-dimensional drawing of a cube on a page. I couldn't do it, but you know, and, and some people see the cube coming out of the page, oh, and some mm -hmm. people see it receding into the page. It's just perception, right? So just knowing, thing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, for a lot of us, that just is not accessible. We're used to ba ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do do one and three. So that's the hugest thing towards your jazz feel is being able to play anything with the metronome on two and four. So part of why that's good and and you know plenty of you in here can do that. So we're going to build on this just for a second. So um, if we have the metronome on all four. have a ton of responsibility there. The metronome is just knocking it out for me. So the idea is if the metronome clicks less, that gives me more room to screw up. So that's part of what practice is, is creating opportunities for you to screw up. So 